Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? So in today's video, we are going to be reacting to this clip where it pretty much says Nick Wright says Zach Eady could do well in the NBA with the Miami Heat. Bim can kind of extend the floor. I know he's not the greatest shooter and Eddie could play down low. I think there's a place for him. What do you think of an Eddie or Eddie? Um, Edie, I believe, and a BAM front court. Now, before we do start this video and before we go all in and listen to this clip, if you guys are diehard Miami Heat fans and want to stay updated to all Miami Heat content, this is the perfect channel for y'all. So smash the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a like, and comment down. And also, y'all see my fresh lineup. I know y'all see me. Yeah, I'm about to get on it, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Anyways, though, but look, we're going to uh, listen to the clip and uh, let's see what you guys think. If you can get him on a team, Demonze. Like Miami, that has a rim that has a rim protector who can guard on the perimeter and Bam, Fact. and he can add some. All he can, you know, Bam can kind of extend the floor. But he's not the greatest shooter in the world. I understand that, but and Edie can play down low. I think there's a place for him. And I know some people have said, "What about on the Spurs?" Just try to create like the craziest, longest team. And Wimby's playing out on the perimeter. He's down low. So I think there's a place for him in the NBA. And I didn't think that yeah. before the tournament. You know what's crazy? Going to the Spurs part. I know this is not a Spurs channel, but that would be kind of wild to have Victor and Edie, like Victor on top of the key and Edie in the top of the, uh, in the paint. That would be wild. But going to um, what he was saying about Bam. Bam has been working on that shot and has been more consistent this year shooting the three-pointer. And he says it's, it's here to stay. And um, hopefully throughout the years, he continues to get better, more confident with that mid-range and spreading out to hit the three, right? Um, he's going crazy this year every time Bam has hit in the three the first game and then it just second game, third game, it just been happening more frequently. And hopefully in the playing in the playoffs, he continues to do that because we don't need it at the high clip. We don't need him to be a Steph Curry type, but we need him at least around that 34, 35 range, which the defense will respect him. Now, for Zach Eady, man, shout out to him, man. He had a great, great March Madness. Definitely put his name on the board. A lot of people are talking about him. You know, he wasn't even supposed to be like a draft pick. People still to this day don't think he's an NBA pick, but there's other teams that think he's an NBA pick, that he could be in a lottery because he just has been doing outstanding stuff. I mean, the dude is... Dominating. I mean, he's a senior. He's 7'4", 300 pounds from Toronto. Um, During the season, there are 25 points a game, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, shooting 62% from the field, and averaging 2.2 blocks. And not only that, his free throw attempts this year was 11.5 while shooting 71%. That's incredible for a big man. And um, the last five games or six or seven games, whatever, he put a 40, 27, 23, 30, and 28. And um, in the national championship, he did lose, but he still put up 37 points, 10 rebounds in 39 minutes, um, which is incredible. He had 10, re uh, obviously 10 rebounds and stuff like that. Shot 60% from the field, shot 70% from the free throw line. He did have three personal fouls, but he was pretty much their leading scorer every single game in that tournament. He had 37, the team scored 60, so they relied on this dude. Um, my concerns about Zach Eady is that he's slow. He can't really guard the pick and roll like a Chris Paul or like a Steph Curry or like a John Moran. These players would expose that ain't Edwards. So if he can get work on that, I think he'll be fine. Also, he doesn't really have an offensive game outside of the post. In these NBA, nowadays in the NBA, you look at our big mans like Joel and Nikola Jokic. Um, they can spread out the floor, come through towns. Rudy Gobert doesn't, but, um, but he do, he's great at what he does, and that's why he's still in the league. You know, when you look at these 7-4 guys that have been getting opportunities, giving chances, like a Taco Fall, Moses Brown, the seemed to be Boban, but, um, but around, I can't even pronounce his damn name. I'm not even going to say it. They don't really last long in this league. Um, so I'm definitely brewing for Zach Eady. I mean, I don't think Zach Eady is a player that the Miami Heat would choose. They like to go small. I mean, that's what we've been doing for the last couple of years, and we hate it. But having Bam you know, expanding his game a little bit more and having that true rim protector, which we know we can throw him a lob whenever he's going to get that offensive rebound, defensive rebound, I think it'll be huge. Um, do I take the risk on him on a first round pick? I don't know. I'm um, in the second round. I just don't think he would be there. Um, so we'll see um, what you guys think about a Zach Eady X bam. I think it would be interesting, but I just don't really see it happening. But at the end of the day, I'm still rooting for the dude and I still think he will Eventually get drafted, especially after this March Madness. Um, he he went crazy. So, but if y'all enjoyed today's video, and if y'all agree with Nick Wright or disagree with Nick Wright, comment down, drop a like, and all that good stuff. I appreciate all support, and I'm out of here.
Peace.